Okay, I'm recording this just for posterity. I am going rogue. So here I'm already laying down my tricorn black from color to go from Sherwin Williams. I just got done doing a really, really pretty lazy Susan. And I thought, you know what? Let me do a swipe. And now this is an old, old top to a Lazy Susan when I first bought these off of Amazon. And these were the ones that I got the measles from. I didn't get the measles. I mean, measles showed up on here. <laughs> and uh, it was really a disaster until I realized what I needed to do was um, prime it or prep this uh, top with uh, varnish. I find varnish works really good. And actually, I got that varnish idea from um, Mitchell from Rains and Pores. So I'm just going to lay the same colors down here. I added this turquoise combination to the lineup. I will call everything out in the description. And I'll try to put texts in the video if this turns out okay. But this is, uh, what is this? Pearl Turquoise from Arteza and Deco Arts Aquamarine. So that's added to the lineup. Um, Got to think about the color combination. I think I'm going to lay down the yellow first. I'm just going to lay down a yellow strip down the middle. And this is Arteza's Pearl Golden Hour, where the Amsterdam's Naples Yellow Deep and also some color art, Lemonade. This is Quinacridone's Nicolazzo Gold by Golden and TLP's Zeus. And this is Arteza's Pearl Sapphire Blue with color arts, Wildberry. And this is TLP's Sea Glass. And as I call out the colors, I am so pleased that I have both Color Art and TLP represented in one piece. And this is Arteza's Pearl Turquoise combined with Deco Art's Aquamarine. And last, I'll be drizzling Deco Art's 24 Karat combined with Golden's Iridescent Gold. Okay, that's all the colors. Now, cell activator. So the plan is this. Let's get this out of the way. So I got Elisa. So I'm going to skip ahead here to where I get swiping the actual tools. swiping tools I want, which are the stiff acetate pieces that I'll show you. All right. Can you see me? Cell activator. White. That's not the gold. Where's the gold? <laughs> that was Nicolazzo gold. So for my cell activators today, I've got my titanium white by Amsterdam and Atelier Rich Gold, and this is with my American Flow Troll right. Cell Activator, recipe 141. Go. I'll link it above. Just for fun. So for the first few swipes, I'm going to go at real time, and then I'll be speeding up, cutting out a lot of the cleanup, and cutting out anything unnecessary. Got way too much paint on there. Yeah. Yeah, I got way too much paint. Okay, well, we'll see what we do here. So I'm gonna throw in here, there are a ton of tips coming up, all kinds of tips. So you don't wanna skip ahead. Please stay through the whole video to catch them all. So because these bloom paints are thicker, I use the thicker and more stiff acetate pieces. It's all going to spin off. The amount of pressure you put on is very important. You don't want to dig down too hard to dig into the pillow, and you want to have enough pressure that you're pulling the paint through with the cell activator over the top of it to get some nice juicy cells.
So as we go forward, I'm going to eliminate loading the palette knife since I'm going to do the same thing each time, laying the white down first, then the gold. And I think I'll just keep it at real time. I'll let you know if I speed up. And if you notice, I'm holding down the swiper fairly centered so I have even pressure throughout the leading edge of it. And also notice that I'm holding the spinner with the other hand to prevent it from turning. All these little tips go into making this a success that you may not otherwise notice. So that's why I'm pointing these things out as we go. Also notice for me, I don't swipe from left to right. I go randomly so when the final piece is done it won't look so symmetric it'll have some different character to it now look closely what's different here I'll give you a second I've switched the size of my swiping tool this is a smaller swiping tool I start larger and then I go smaller well let me say typically here I'm making a liar out of myself and I go back to the larger size because actually this was the right size to fill in that gap but typically I do start larger and then go smaller and you'll see also when you're pulling through you want to pull at a steady pace otherwise if you hesitate at all it'll leave a mark and you'll see it And don't be in a big hurry to do this. The paint will wait for you. Just take your time and get the composition where you want it. Okay, we're back to the middle sized one again. And then we'll eventually be getting smaller. Trust me. And I had considered adding music in between, but for ease of editing, I just decided to keep it simple. Okay, here's an even smaller one still, as I keep going here. I think I use four different sizes here throughout the whole piece. You just don't, because we're still creating. And the farther into it you get, you do more switching of sizes just to get the gaps filled. I just splattered. teeny tiny baby baby one why not so here I'm just on the fly creating a very thin swiping tool to use for the little nooks and crannies here wait pick up some gold from the floor <laughs> Now look at that little swiper go, so nicely filling in between the gaps there, just like my little bears up the tree. And speaking of bears, if you haven't seen any of my bears shorts, my bear cubs and the mama bear, check out my playlist for bears. You'll have a kick out of it for little 30 second videos. I need a big one there, I don't like the way that looks. Let's go back over it. So what caught my eye there are too many small swipes all next to each other. Okay, that was better. Okay, I think 
we're maybe ready to start doing something with this. Um, let's get some edge on here. <laughs> this is going to go wild as soon as I spin it. I say this because I have so much paint on there, I know I'm going to have to overspin to get it off. It's all going to stretch out. Yeah, we're going to go crazy here. We'll see what happens. You know, no loss on this because this has just been sitting on my shelf for over a year after a measles attack. After, I think I did this, tried this Lazy Susan top, I don't even know, I think three times. And then finally just said, okay, it, it wins. But I went ahead and primed it again, just in case. Because you don't know. So I think I need one more swipe over here, just in case. I got I got color over there I might as well swipe it in this is really going rogue over here really rogue okay oh, that's gonna need to be cleaned got a mess here but I was gonna have a mess anyway so now I got a mess with something on it I wish I could just keep it like that I wish I could just keep it like that gonna cover this edge. I don't wanna have a perfectly straight line in the middle, but I do wanna have it centered on the turntable. So give me a second here to get this thing centered up. Do it one more time. You know, I am really happy with my progress. A year ago, I never would have had the wherewithal to do what I'm doing. Just going for it, you know? And you only get that confidence by doing. spin the other way too. Yeah, I'm definitely definitely going to one direction. And I also want to point out here that even though I'm doing this creation on a lazy Susan, that doesn't mean that this same process doesn't apply to a canvas, an MDF board, or any other thing that you might want to be painting on. It's the same steps, the same process. I just happen to pick a lot of functional art to do my creations on. But everything I'm doing applies to anything else out there. It's weird as I'm watching it, it looks like all the lines are going diagonally now. It's like really an illusion.
I think we have to stop with that. Because this is getting weird and weird. Weird and weird. Weird and weird. Let's see, how much paint do I have in the middle? I don't know if I got enough paint off. Hardly anything in there. Well, we'll see if this gets measles. That's gonna be it. This over here is really cool. Man. All right, kind of call that done. I'm gonna get my mess cleaned up. So everyone, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video and all the little nuggets and tidbits of information and tips I've provided along the way. And here are the final resin results. And I love the way this turned out, even with a little wonkiness on both sides. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all, you'll get all my latest art tutorials. And by the end of the video here, I'm going to include a playlist for other Lazy Susans, so you can see other swipes, other blooms, and other creations and colored palettes on Lazy Susans. So I think that's about all for now, everybody. Until next time, take care.